Hey guys, Eileen Vick here for Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. And today I'm going to work on finishing up the Mademoiselle Cats. Uh, you've seen me posting about it before. This is the first page that I did. And then the one directly next to it is this one here that I am currently working on right now. All right, so I'm to the point where I'm just about finishing up everything. So I'm going to uh, video how I'm finishing this so you can see my style overall. All right, so you already know how I did the leaves is I took the two color greens, lighter green on the bottom, darker green <clears throat> on top at the base of the leaf, and then just carried it out. So what I want to show you now I don't think I showed you this on the other video. If I did, well, it's a little bit of a refresher. <clears throat> All right, so to do the tree trunk, I've got three colors here. I've got my uh, very dark brown, my medium brown, and my gold. And the darkest brown is the Gung Huai 070. <coughs> Why is it when I start talking I with you, I cough that's a given and then I've got the um, PC 945 now and I'm gonna oh and the Sivo vivid um, color uh, they don't put colors on there so it's just the yellow orange but the thing that I want to emphasize here is you don't have to copy my brands exactly that I use just match the colors and you'll be in really good shape all right, so for this tree, I'm gonna finish the bark here. And let me find my paper towel to put my hand on. All right, so wherever I put a base of yellow, you can see here how it changes the color of the overlaying brown. So it makes for a really, really nice variation. So I'm gonna go ahead and randomly add in my yellow. Now, lots of questions that I get is, well, how do you know where to put it? Well, you know, when you look at a tree, you can see how they vary in color. So right here, let me zoom in. Right here in doing this yellow, I started on the left and I kind of went to the middle and then I went down to the right. And so I'll go under the putty tat and down some more. And I think we're good to go to just about there. All right. Then on this, on the rest of the bark, I'm going to color this in totally random, guys. If you're following along and doing the color, you don't have to do the exact where I'm doing this. And by the way, go ahead and put some paper underneath there so that when you go off the edge, you dot the paper and not your coloring area. And what I really want you to understand is, too, that unless you're specifically following an artist a specific way and are doing it step by step, you do not have to do it um, exactly how I'm doing it with these branches and the bark. All right. So then I may finish off down here. Make sure I'm in camera range down here. Just like that. And 
here's the gap, so I'm going to be sure to follow the gaps. Okay, so you can see now, let me pull out. You can see how I have in effect randomly um, colored this. And by random, I mean within the acceptable pattern of the tree. All right, I didn't just go willy nilly with this. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my medium brown. And I'm going to color right over the top. And here's what I want you to notice about the coloring here is in lay layering, layering your colors, they're going to be different because see right now I'm coloring over the yellow, but when I go over the area where I didn't in yellow, the brown totally changes, right? again so that's why your colors need to be compatible and that neat so I've got a nice different shade of that brown all right so it's going to be dark there because I left that gap it's lighter there dark again here Let me sharpen my pencil. <sighs> okay. All right, so now I'm over the yellow where my brown's gonna come in lighter. And when I'm not on the yellow anymore, I considerably lighten up how hard I push with a pencil. So on a scale from one to 10, about a seven to eight on the yellow. When I get to the brown here, probably about five or six, if not lighter. And don't forget that you can use your one, your one shade your one color to make different shades. So for example, I'm gonna go back and forth over this one um, path and you can see, see right here how it's come out nice darker. That is another way to add interest to your tree. All right, so let's get around the putties here. Okay, love how that's coming out. You can experiment on paper with layering different colors just to see how they come up with different shades. And the different shades really work on tree bark. And you can see how this is quickly turning into a really nice piece. All right, let me brush that. 
Don't forget that if you're interested in the piano music that I play in the background, um, that's Whisperings Piano, W-H-I-S-P-E-R-I-N-G-S. -I -S. No, I am not selling for them. Uh, no, I do not get compensation for that. I just really love that channel, and I, I love listening to it. And so when I'm, I, I like to fall asleep to it, so... I play it on my iPhone as I'm drifting off to sleep. Right. Okay, so continuing down my edge. Now I'm getting into a tricky area where I've got the gold underneath here, which is fine. We can still get it. Little spots there. You can also see that this is going quite rapidly. And I'm not really rushing through it. I'm just used to doing this tree because I've been doing a lot of it. <laughs> all right, so now here I'm just gonna do all brown. Get this branch. Okay, sharpen my pencil. Now, this area in here, I don't want to get super dark, but you see, you can see white gaps. That's where your blending pencil is going to come in, because otherwise I'd have to um, push very heavily with my pencil, and I don't want to do that, because I don't want the brown that dark. Again, I'm pressing pretty firmly over the yellow, so it takes the color. Get the rest of this yellow done. Okay, now I'm going to get my blender pencil. Do you think I should get a new one out? <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna blend these areas where that white is coming through. Makes for a nice color on the tree. this just to even it out here. Oops, hit here to even it out here.
Oh yeah, that's looking really good. Okay, now I see a little awkward transition right here, so I'm gonna work on that just a little bit here. Get that one spot. There we go. All right, let me pull out. And get a sip of water, thank you for understanding. Okay, now I'm gonna get my darkest pencil and start playing around with um, varying colors and shading. And this is a pretty dark brown. And hopefully you remember for people that follow me is that it's not the pressure that's getting that brown in there. It's that I'm repetitively going over the same spot. And I'm just hitting some of the curves here. Look how cool that's starting to create the brown. All right, look in here. See how I'm getting a nice flow of brown? I'm gonna follow this tree part here. How cool that's turning out. Now lightly I'm going over this orange. I'm not pressing this hard. So that's just tamping down the orange color a little bit. I don't want to do it too much. And here we are along this right here. And that goes there. All right, here we go. Let me get that the right way, there you go. And now that I'm looking at it this way, if I see somewhere else where I wanna add maybe a little darker, I can do that. I'm gonna pull this darkness, darker all the way over here. Oh, that turned out great. I love it. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to do one of the putties because I want to show you... I want to show you... Let's see here. How I'm shading the cats. Give me a minute while I figure out my color here. Okay. So I'm gonna work on this cat right now. And I'm gonna use three colors. And then I'm gonna show you a little technique that I've done that you, if you were looking at my other page, you may or may not notice it, but you are seeing it. And it does make a difference to the overall 
um, quality of the page. Okay, so I'm going to take a medium yellow. And lightly, I'm going to color in this cat. Oh, forgot something. Every single cat, I've got a um, pink pencil here. And every single cat, I'm going ahead and adding a little bit of pink on their cheek. Yeah, obviously I can't do it on this guy. Let's see here. So I've got this one. I've got this guy. I've got um, this guy. I missed a leaf there. Let's see if I can find a light green real quick. Bear with me. Yeah, get that. Okay. So you can see the pink there. It just makes these really cute, I think. All right, so pink there, pink there. And pink here. And I'm pressing somewhat firmly. I'd say probably about a seven or an eight. Yeah, not there. Okay. So let's get back to this guy. I want him just a little darker. And that just a little darker. Okay. So, let me show you how I'm doing these cats. Um, let me see here. Always keep your pencils around from past colors that you've done so that if you see some gaps or misses, you can take care of it. That's a little lighter than I want. There we go. There's a gap all together there. It's amazing how those little buggers show up. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do my entire cat a light yellow. And I'm making the outside yellow a little bit darker right here than on the inside. All right, now I see a couple spots where my brown has gotten in the way, so I get my handy X-Acto knife Again, use with extreme caution, both for yourself and for the page. And I'm going to very, very gently scrape that brown off. Be careful because you're taking the ink with it. Let's see. The ink of the original drawing. Yeah, and there's a little brown right there. All right. So back with my yellow to fix that. Okay. All right. Now, I could leave them like that, um, but to me that's kind of dull. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a nice orange 
and go over the top very lightly. And I'm going to stick mostly to the darker yellow that I put in, which means I'm going to stay mostly on the fur. Now it's going to look a little wonky for a minute. And I'm just literally going to take my finger now and rub all that in. Look how cool that looks. All right, then I'm going to take a little bit of brown and right on the very, let's see if I can get closer. That's it. Let's see something here. Wrong way. There you go. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take brown and I'm staying right on the edges. Okay. You can come in a little bit if you want on your fur like I did right there. But see how I'm getting a nice brown there? And a very, very, very light brown in these fur areas. All right, and then on the tail, I'm going to stay right on the hash marks. I'm going to play with the brown just a little bit here where the tail meets, kind of play it out a little bit. See how I did that? I went this way and then came out and came out and came out. Um, let's see. Yeah, came out, came out, came out, and then back up the tail. Cat fur is relatively forgiving because cats are different colors, different ways. And so it's kind of hard to get too wonky with it. All right. And then I'm just going to really blend that because I want that yellow to tamp down just a little bit. And luckily I've got the brown here, so it's just going to carry over. All right, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, one last thing I wanna show you cause I'm not gonna bore you to death doing all these cats. But here's the little trick that I want you to see. I'm going to take black and very judiciously, I'm going to color underneath each cat Ah, hate that. Made a little tick mark with the black. Yeah. I get kind of weird about stuff like that. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to take my black and I'm going to color underneath the cat, which makes it look like a shadow on the branch. Is that not cool? Very subtle, a little darker than my darkest brown on the tree, but this is the really cool thing I wanted you to see. You can make your shadow come out a little bit, but just be sure to parallel what's going on with the piece. In other words, I'm not gonna color in here because the belly is up here, so stay relatively close and then just kind of peter it out like that and I'm not pushing hard but see you can now definitely see the difference between the shading here and the dark brown, okay? That's what I wanted to show you. That by adding the shadow to the cats, 
It really makes them pop. All right. And then I'm just gonna hit that with my finger just a little bit. Now, what I wanna show you, let me get, there we go. On my first page, I did the same thing, but you really didn't notice it, but it is there. See, I made the shadow underneath, just underneath the cat. So that I had a really nice darkening Okay, and it's just subtle. I did it underneath this cat here. See how neat that looks? Um, I did it here. I'm even adding a little more now. See how nice that looks? And you can particularly see it where the two paws are because it's dark here. Yeah. So these are the little touches that I want you to think about when you're coloring. And again, had I not mentioned it, you wouldn't have even specifically noticed it but it's making the piece look really good. All right, let me zoom in here. Yeah, Whoop, sorry. See how nice that looks underneath? Just a little more here. And yeah, I'm pressing pretty hard. here has their own custom shading. Yeah. All right. I think we're good. And if you like me, I like to tweak and tweak and tweak and you gotta be really careful about doing that because you'll tweak it right into oblivion. Then it's gonna look really crappy. All right, so let me brush this off. Let me pull out. Let me show you this page that I was just working on. Does that not look cool? Let me pull out just a tad further so you can see everything. All right, so that's where I am right now. And what I'm gonna do is I will go ahead and finish the cats. Sorry for the wiggle. All right, there we go. So what I'm gonna do is I will go ahead and I will finish the rest of these cats and then I'll show you the final piece. But I hope you like what I'm showing you. I hope you learned something today. And I hope you had fun. All right, guys. Oh, and one more thing. Um, my other channel, the Dear Mama Hen, I have fixed it so that when I broadcast on that channel, it won't interfere with the coloring. So sorry about that. As I said before, I was, I was um, um, not aware uh, of how to create separate channels. So if you know people that are lonely or you're lonely or you're having feelings of disappointment or whatever, just check me out with those dear mama hen. All right. So guys, thank you so much. I, I enjoyed coloring with you. 
<clears throat> more so, as I said, I hope you learned something. I hope you had a lot of fun. God bless and have a great rest of the day. And I have to say this, the Titans are playing tomorrow. I'm not a big football fan, but they are my local team. So they're playing in the playoffs tomorrow because um, um, today's Saturday, what, the 18th, I think it is. So go Titans. All right, guys, God bless. Hope you had fun. Take care.